All right, we are here with John and Gary. Welcome to the Feast 2014. How are you guys doing? Great. Not bad. Yeah, it was Not fun. Bad. Good. Yeah. <laughs> fun, uh, fun doing the talk. Good, good. How are you guys loving the weather this morning? Uh, it's very beautiful. <laughs> very beautiful. <laughs> yeah, if you like rain. Yeah. That's good. So both of you guys are, you know, filmmakers, photographers. You've done amazing things and, you know, award winning, traveled around. All that's good. But let's talk about the both of you. You know, let's talk about just kind of you guys mental process, how you guys not mm -hmm. only work, but just go from day to day. And what was it like waking up this morning, knowing you were going to come here and just saying, OK, what is that going to be like? You know, wh what do I see there, especially from a filmmaker, photographer standpoint? <laughs> you kind of look at things in pictures and movies and stuff like that. Walking in, how does that process work for you mentally? For me, I'm not I'm not, you know, I'm, the reason I'm a photographer is because I, I don't really I don't really like, like to, to talk. talk that much. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, uh, <clears throat> so going in, I was, you know, I'm nervous to give a talk. Mm -hmm. um, I'd rather show the images and let them speak. But uh, obviously, especially, especially with a project like this, it's, yeah. it, uh, you have to explain, um, you know, the process, what we did. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, I, I like, I'm, I've released a, um, a bunch of films and I've done, yes. I don't know, probably... 500 screenings um, mm. of those films over the past, you know, 10 years. So, so I've done a lot of um, Q and A's and getting up in front. So I'm, I'm not so nervous on the um, the public speaking mm -hmm. part of it. Um, I, you know, so I think just you know just coming in and mm -hmm. one thing that I that I that I always think about in, in um, the context of like a, a conference or a bunch of people talking is like how it fits in, how what yeah. we're doing fits in. Yeah. Um, like I've been to uh, um, enough sort of design conferences and events to, and seeing somebody that just completely stands out because they they weren't really in touch with what was the, what the event was about, or yeah, they're just yeah. kind of doing their speech that they Maybe always they're do. On the circuit. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're doing they're the thing nervous. that they always do at every event. So, mm -hmm. um, so that that's probably, in terms of like what what I'm thinking about, it's it's trying to get a sense for the people and, and, and how our project relates to that. Yeah. I mean, John and I don't, we, this is the only project we collaborate on, mm -hmm. like John does other, other projects and, yeah. you know, I make films. So, um, you know, it, it, it's a cool project um, just because, I mean, for me, it's, it's a, a way of working that I don't normally work in. Normally okay. I work in, in yeah. long form documentary yeah. with a ton of crew and going to a city or a shoot. There's a, there's a lot of moving parts. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that, that um, you know, attracted me, you know, I've known John for 15 years and just sort of, sort of saw his early images when he started shooting um, uh, back in 2008. Mm -hmm. And just one of the things that, that, that attracted me to the project was it was it was not making a documentary. It was not mm -hmm. filming. It wasn't all the stuff. It was just, you know, each of us walking through different cities with a, with a you know, a small camera and taking yeah. photos yeah. and trying to kind of, um, you know, look at, look at these cities and, and how they change and um, in a very sort of specific way, almost mm -hmm. like, you know, too specific sometimes. But I, I think that's to look at something as complex as a city and, and how it changes and the, and how people live in these places. Yeah. Sometimes it, it, I think it helps to be have a really specific focus. Um, so, um, yeah. Cool. So when you guys are either online or looking at a magazine or looking at a film or whatever, what makes you stop at a page or stop in a film or even stop, you know, on a web page and say, you know what, that intrigues me, especially being a photographer and being a filmmaker. Like, what are the key things? In or terms of imagery? Imagery or, or maybe storytelling or just what it's pulling at you. Because I know, especially from an artistic standpoint, we tend to look at things differently. You know, just me being an actor, I'm always, I have to try to try and turn my critical brain off, <laughs> but then I can't. And then how do you just enjoy it? Or is it always kind of a battle? Between the two, um, I think it's different for being an actor. I think, or working in film yeah. or something or theater, because you're constantly, you must constantly be, uh, you know, you know what's going on behind the scene. Like you're trying to imagine mm -hmm. like what they're doing wrong or what you know. You're trying to actually beating yourself beating up. Yourself yeah. up. <laughs> I should have had that role, something like that. But uh, for me, I'm not. Um, it just if an image on a page mm -hmm. affects me, like mm -hmm. I'll stop if something's like wow, yeah. like something about it, and it's not necessarily like a, 
exciting image or anything. It's just like if it's if it's uh, if there's something very real about it, or if there's something, um, I don't know. Just that's usually for me, it's a visual thing, mm -hmm. um, and it's not. And I'm not usually not being cri critical. Yeah, yeah. I don't usually tend to do. That. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's so um, subjective. It's yeah. it's hard. Yeah. Like I don't have um, a, a a set you know list of things that I like or don't like in terms of imagery or or typography or whatever. But so much of it is just you know if it feels right you you, you know it and yeah. um, especially well like in this project you know I don't know we've taken you know thirty or forty thousand um, photographs and trying to look at those and and trying to kind of think well what what makes this one work or yeah. what you know which yeah. ones actually work and so, so much of it is kind of you know undescribable it's yeah. you see something in, in whatever if it's the composition or the moment or the lighting or, or, or whatever um, that, that just like oh that looks like something that I you know I'm drawn to that image I can't I can't describe why but yeah. but um, but I'm just drawn to it I think okay. the same thing with me with um with type too yeah. like I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. You know, I made a movie about typography like I think about it a lot <laughs> you know it took me a while to stop like identifying, trying to identify the font every time I saw a, like a headline or an ad or something like that. Yeah, you still do that. So like things that just, like on the street, you're like Helvetica. I'm like, ah, oh, nice, uh, nice Helvetica. I actually, I just did that yesterday. <laughs> it's like at the Port Authority bus terminal. But now we do it with like, the Olympic stuff. You're like, yeah, if you oh, see rings man. anywhere, yeah. you're like, ah, oh, rings. Wow, yeah. what's that? And then it just like draws you in. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's okay. again, it's it's subjective. Everybody else has. Everyone has their own kind of you know I don't know visual um, cues that, that draw them in mm -hmm. to an image or a page or an ad or, or whatever yeah. it is um, so I think it's, it's really hard to try to dis describe or analyze like why mm -hmm. something works and why, why it doesn't mm -hmm. um, I, I just think like you trust that if you think it looks good yeah. it probably yeah. does or at least there are other there are other people somewhere <laughs> who yeah. will yeah. also think it <laughs> looks good so mm -hmm. it's it's a matter of just trusting that and not trying to second guess it too much you gotta turn off your brain especially taking if you're photo, you know taking pictures you know you turn off off the part of your brain that's like thinking too much about yeah. composition yeah. or whatever yeah, yeah. um yeah. For me it's like a feeling it's ins instinctive you mm -hmm. know it's a sort of i don't know if this is the really question you asked but uh, <laughs> you know for we me get back around to yeah, it don't worry. for me it's really that uh, and same thing uh, yeah. you know on the page if you're if yeah. you turn on something um, it's the same kind of thing. If it's a feeling, yeah. if you get a feeling from it, then I might stick around and look at it longer. Mm -hmm. um, or if it's something that, like, oh man, I wish I had taken that, or it looks like yeah. something mm. you know, I would have liked to take. You, could, you ever kind of do the thing of, I could have did that a little bit better if? Mm. Uh, I don't do that as much, but okay. I, uh, okay. maybe sometimes. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. I don't. I can't think of a time when I did that. Well, but sometimes there's, there's a situation that, or like a moment that you see that you mm -hmm. you want to capture, but something's wrong. Like yeah, the that lighting, all the lighting the is weird, or mm -hmm. or it, it went by and you didn't, you weren't ready to take a photo, you know, to ca to get it. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that's one thing that happens. And that's the difference, maybe a little bit. You were talking about that with with uh, filming versus taking one image. Is that exactly? Like you, you have to get that image in one yeah. image, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but with filming, you can. Yeah. You know, not that it's easier. It's yeah. a different whole thing. I think it's easier. I think it's a lot easier to film because you can just roll and I there's movement on screen. Yeah. That in yeah. itself is is interesting. Um, mm -hmm. And there's a story kind of being told, mm -hmm. um, even if there isn't really like a actual story. Yeah. We, when we, you know, as, as, as viewers when we're watching it, we're piecing something together because there's movement, mm -hmm. there's activity, there's something. Mm -hmm. Um, and with a f one single frame, yeah, you do have to capture that all. It gets much more yeah. abstracted to the, mm -hmm. the angles and lines and light play a much bigger role, I think, yeah. in a still photo than it does in, in, in video. Because in video, you mm -hmm. can just cut to the next angle or whatever. You, 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 can, you can change it up. You got music. You got all these other things to kind of, yeah. I don't know, augment the, the, the image. Um, okay. But like, it's one thing I just was thinking about um, in terms of like how you look at, at certain images are certain like when we're out shooting things mm -hmm. um, and trying to figure out what what to kind of take in there's the, um, the quote the um, from the wire uh, mm -hmm. where it's like I think it's like um, bunk is like uh, talking about looking at a crime scene and like how you how you do it and he's like you gotta have soft eyes 
And that, that I always think about that because it's like, it's true. You got to change the way that you normally would yeah. look for something. Yeah. If you're That's walking through, if you're walking yeah. through a, um, you know, a, a market, and mm -hmm. you know, you're normally you're looking for something. You've got a destination. Yeah. You've got something that you, you're yeah. trying to go to or do, or um, and like that idea of just not looking at the the situation, the, yeah. what's behind you, like looking at what's happening behind you and being conscious of what's happening behind you and just trying to take in, um, you know, a scene or a, a place um, in a different way than you would if you were just walking through it to go to work. Okay. That reminds me of the, uh, the soft eyes things remind me of, I haven't been to the eye doctor in, in many years <laughs> because... You literally have soft eyes? I literally, like, I think my, I can't really see very well. And I think, like, I'm afraid to get my eyes corrected yeah. because... Like in a way, I see. I don't see anything that clearly, ah, but I okay. see like a whole scene. I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So and that's. I think in a way that helps me, but I, I don't know if that's true. I think it's probably like if I get my eyes corrected, I'd probably be right. But <laughs> I'm a little <laughs> suscious. I'm, like, yeah. like I want to keep those screwing soft up, eyes. Screwing I mean, up. They don't want you so far. You know? I, know, I, mean, yeah. I don't want to like mess with the I magic. I don't want to mess with it. But yeah. also, I can't. But then it's not good for driving or for. Yeah, like yeah, you're hanging out with me. You can't get to the shop, you know, if you don't make it there. <laughs> yeah, it's not good for life. Yeah, right. Right. So for the both of you, what's the hardest shot you both have ever had? Like one that just made you stay up at night or just in that moment you just want to just throw things at people or maybe at yourself? Uh, um, the hardest shot to try to that try to get that we got, or, or just an experience that you had, yeah, yeah, maybe maybe one that you've gotten that just it was a grinder, you know, and you said, you know, I earned this mofo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, there's two things. Like, I think with this project, a lot of times we're not getting official permission to get mm. into places because when you try to do that, it changes the whole dynamic, yeah. and they're they're yeah. they want to be with you when you're photographing and not shoot anything that's not good so a lot of it is physically i mean breaking and entering basically um so sometimes it is actually hard to get the shots yeah. we're just mm -hmm. like sneaking in or okay. or wandering in like we're tourists and just basically lying and saying that, oh i'm big a big <laughs> olympic fan i want to see the inside of the stadium and they're like yeah oh, mm -hmm. you came from america sure and we'll bring you in and you have to do a lot of like sweet talking of like security people and stuff definitely in athens that was the case yeah because you got like Re not arrested, but like detained. Many, Every day, many the times. police yeah. stopped us, pulled us over, you know, frisked us oh heavily. And um, but I, luckily, I had a local guy, Teo, who, wow. you know, after the first couple of days, he was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring, I'm going to start bringing a picture of myself at the Olympics because mm. he worked at the Olympics when he was uh, when he was younger. And uh, just to show that we're like that, you, we're going to say you're a fan <laughs> of the Olympics, even though, you know. And uh, so we'll go, and I'll have that picture. But, um, you know, everywhere we went, we, you know, we, so in Athens, I would say, to answer <laughs> your question, that Athens, it was, there was like one day where we went, um, we, you know, every time we'd have to sort of talk to the guards and, mm -hmm. and they would say, no, 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 no. Yeah. And, but eventually Teo would talk, 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 talk. And then all of a sudden they're like, hey, you know. Here's a good picture over here. And like pointing out, I don't know what, what would happen, but that's I think it might be a Greek thing, or just like chat, 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 chat. And at some point they were like, yeah. 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 So at this one place we went to, the, like the boating, um, it was like a boating slip. It's like privately owned now. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one of the. It's like one of the few um, venues where they actually sold it to something. So I went in, and we were walking around, and then we were we were going farther, I think, than the guard wanted us to go. Mm. But, so we were walking around taking pictures, and I just kept going farther and farther. And, um, and eventually, another guard showed up in his car and was like, you got to get in. And we're going to oh, take, oh, 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 take your card. You know, we're going to take your, your uh, camera stuff. And he's talking to uh, Teo. I'm in the back. Yeah. As he's saying all this, I'm taking, I'm slowly moving the card <laughs> out of the camera and putting a blank card into the camera. <laughs> Um, Smooth moves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> but in the end, in the end, they just dropped us off at the end of the yeah, street, yeah. and we were just like, you know, shook our hands and was yeah. like, "There are good pictures down there." Again, it was oh, just like, "Oh wow!" <laughs> Sometime in, in um, when I was shooting in Detroit, and there's um, this old uh, railroad station, this mm -hmm. massive building, the Eastern yes. Station, I think it is, and it's just one of those things that you see constantly. Like anytime you see like, "Oh, Detroit ruined mm -hmm. porn," and you know, um, they show this building, and and it's it's on the. I guess that there's a some sort of a subterranean 
tunnel from there that goes across the um, to Canada. So it's it's oh, wow. part of like a border. It's like a national security border patrol okay. kind of thing. So we went into um, to shoot, and there's a private security people, but nobody seemed to be around. It's all chained off. There was a guy like mowing the lawn across the street. And I just hiked my cameraman over the chain link and jumped oh. in, and he went in to get it. And then the lawnmower man just started yelling at us, like, ah, and we're like, whatever, lawnmower guy. <laughs> well, of course, he radioed security, and they showed up. And since it was this sensitive homeland security site, uh. suddenly, like, the U.S. troops came out with, like, oh. you know, M16s and everything, and, like, where's your friend? We're going to, like grilled us it took us hours um oh, to like to get God. through it because they had to check our backgrounds and they had to like make sure we weren't you know terrorists or something oh, and we're just like come man. on we're making a we're making a movie about detroit man well, but um they sent you to guantanamo bay they did send us to guantanamo year. bay oh, i had to crap. shave my head it was pretty, um, <laughs> pretty traumatic for me but there, there's situational things that yeah. make it hard like that yeah. like logistical things yeah. that make a shot yeah, hard, hard so. to get yeah. then there's also um a lot of times it's about waiting a lot of times, like, you see something, like a scenario or yeah. something, and you're like, wow, this looks like it could be something, like something could happen, and, and really you're just sort of waiting for that moment where it kind of all clicks. The yeah. sun is in a certain place, or there's people in front that are doing something, or, you, you know, you're trying to capture, like, at least in this project, we're trying to capture, like, what life is like in these spaces. Yeah. That's really hard to do in one in one frame. So it's a, a lot of the time is it's, like, waiting mm -hmm. and, and just being, like, you know what it's not gonna happen and trying to come back the next day and like again trying to see like is the light different is something else happening and so there's a lot of that um it, it, it is a weird in, in a sense it, it's a time-based project because yeah. the things that we're looking at have aged and changed and that's part yeah. of what we're interested yeah. in um but then the project itself is is kind of time-based because it's been eight years now since john started it you know, we plan to continue it as long as, you know, we, we're still interested in it. So it's just going to keep going. Um, so that's this other element of time. So okay. it's all sort of wound up in, in, the, in the project. All right. Well, before we wrap, um, favorite pieces of equipment to use? <laughs> for photographing or for? For both. For photographing and filming. Um, I mean, we, this has been a lot of, you, you, go, you go first. Uh, Put it on you. Come on. <laughs> Because it's an easy, it's an easy well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, 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 uh, I like rangefinder cameras. Okay. I tend to like those okay. a little better for, for whatever reason. So for this, I used the Mamiya 7 and a, mm. and a, a Leica. We started, you know, for years I was using a Leica M6 uh, film. And then I was like, it would be amazing if we could get a digital. But they're, you know, they're very expensive. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. We were like, oh, let's just rent one for. Uh, so I rented one for Athens and and loved it. And then uh, when we got Kickstarter funding, I, I you know I got one of those just for the project. Mm -hmm. So so for me it was like those two rangefinder cameras uh, uh, were my favorite. But I um, can't really say why. I just got I'm just comfortable with them, mm -hmm. and you know it's, it becomes an extension of my eye or something Beautiful. usually. Yeah. Until you get them fixed, of course. Until yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just I have to I actually install them on my face and that's how I look at people and I just focus the little ring. And I was shooting right. mostly with like digital SLRs like okay. Um, okay. you know Canon and Nikon before yeah. this, but it's interesting because when I started, I mean, well, my background is in in video mm -hmm. and and then when I started doing more still mm -hmm. work um, with John on this on this project. There was something, and I, I know it's like people always talk about, oh, like uh, there's this intangible thing, magic, whatever. <laughs> but, but in a way, strange way, there is, and it's still part of. It's a little bit of it's about the glass, yeah. and a little yeah. bit of that is about how you, you know, that kind of rangefinder functions differently than a than an SLR. But um, so I I got sucked into the cult of um, of like a rangefinders too. The thing is that they're really small. Until yeah, recently, yeah. you couldn't get a full frame digital um, th uh, camera, um, okay. the full frame digital like in a compact form. You get uh, a big yeah. DSLR, yeah. but you couldn't get like a, something that was small. And part of this project is about like yeah. blending in and not like, I've got the big pro camera yeah. out and people react Ten differently. 10 foot lens. And yeah, people I, react differently <laughs> to that. If we that. had had, yeah. you know, like eight by 10 or four by five cameras in Athens or wherever, it, we wouldn't have gotten anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You, can't, you can't do it. Cause a lot of times, again, we're, we're 
really talking our way in just yeah. as, as just yeah. we're not professionals. Don't mm-hmm. don't be afraid of us. We're just tourists or, yeah. or whatever. So having a small form factor of the camera. And until recently, you couldn't get that um, okay. in, in a, a full frame digital. So definitely got kind of sucked into the like of thing. So, you know, M6. Sucker. Suckered or sucked <laughs> in both. Um, so, yeah, M6 film camera. It's mm-hmm. like this is like awesome. And then there's the digital equivalents yeah. that, that are... You know they're they're ridiculously expensive, but um, there's something about it that 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 gives the uh, and it's interesting just like wow, looking at our images and I always try to figure out like why John's look like so much better than my my <laughs> images and I'm trying to like what is it and I think let your eyes get worse a little bit yeah, yeah. yeah I think that see. might be it I think that might be it my I have like 2020 <laughs> like ridiculously good eyesight so maybe I need to fuck it up a little bit. <laughs> Get some contacts. All right. All right. Well, thank you guys very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank Gary you. and John. I'll catch you guys later. All right. Thanks. All right. Nice to meet cool. you. See you.